Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Vigyan. In this video, we will talk about NIT Warangal PAD admission for 2023 July session. First, talking about NIT Warangal, National Institute of Technology Warangal, Telangana, homely known as Regional Engineering College, was established in 1959. The institute was renamed as National Institute of Technology Warangal in 2002. NIT Warangal was given the status of Institute of National Importance in 2007. Now, talking about PhD program offering departments. Civil Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Metallurgical and Materials Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Physics, Mathematics, Biotechnology, Chemistry, School of Management, Humanities and Social Sciences. Now talking about PhD admission categories. First, we will talk about full-time categories. In full-time, first, full-time student on Institute Fellowship. Second, full-time government or semi-government fellowship awardees or QIP or FIP UGC or CSIR or UGC or DOE, DST, DBT, NBHM or INSPIRE, full-time project fellows or JRF or SRF appointed in R&D project being carried out at NIT Warangal, full-time sponsored student from industry and R&D organization, fifth, Indian Council for Cultural Relations ICCR fellowship awardees, foreign students, sixth, full-time external CSIR, JRF or SRF fellows working in national research laboratories and R&D organizations having necessary facilities, seventh, full-time self-financing program sponsored by industry, eighth, full-time self-finance, rules of reservation are not applicable, master's degree is compulsory, whereas GATE, UGC, CSIR or INSPIRE or NET or CAT is not mandatory. Now talking about part-time categories, first, permanent faculty and other permanent staff of NIT Warangal, Second, permanent faculty of private academic institution with NIRF ranking below 200 at least once in last five years. Both permanent and contractual faculty from educational institution fully funded by government or maintained by public-private partnership PPP mode. Permanent employees from private industries with R&D facilities having three years of experience in an industry or five years standing with membership in CII or SHM or any other similar membership. Fifth, permanent employees working in government R&D laboratories or government organization or government industries or PSUs or state undertaking. Now talking about eligibility criteria. First class with 60% aggregate or 6.5 CGPA at both UG and PG for OC, OBC or EWS category and minimum 55% aggregate marks or 6 CGPA for candidates under SC, ST or PWD category. Now talking about eligibility criteria for engineering departments. Masters or MS by research degree in engineering or technology in appropriate branch of study. GATE is not mandatory for both full-time and part-time scholars or bachelors in engineering or technology with valid GATE score and at least CGPA 8 out of 10 or 75% MOOC marks under general or general EWS or OBC NCL category and at least 7.5 CGPA or 70% marks for candidates under SCST PWD category. Refer to department specific qualification. Departments such as biotechnology, chemical engineering, metallurgical and materials engineering also admit MSc students. However, GATE or NET qualification is mandatory for MSc candidate. Now talking about science departments. Master's degree in the relevant discipline of science like physics, mathematics or chemistry, B.Tech or equivalent degree or M.Tech or equivalent degree. All candidates must have qualified in GATE, CSIR or UGC or INSPIRE or NET. No a compulsion for part-time scholars. Now talking about humanities, master degree in relevant discipline of English. All candidates must have qualified in GATE or UGC or NET. Note a compulsion for part-time scholars. For management, master degree in business administration. All candidates must have qualified in CAT or GATE or UGC NET. Note a compulsion for part-time scholars. Now talking about selection process. Selection will be based on written test and slash or interview. Now talking about application process, candidates have to apply online at NIT Warangal website and application fee is for general, general EWS or OBC NCL candidates 1600, for SCST and PWD 800 and mode of payment will be online. Now talking about important dates, announcement of inviting application is 15th May, last date to receive application is 29th May, announcement of shortlisted candidates 5th June and return test or interview dates 12 to 17 June, announcement of selected candidates 21st June 2023.